So, this is the fourth round of my Wakefield regional run, and I was paired against Joseph Richardson to be on the stream. So if you haven't seen the streams match, you should go and check that out. It's on Matt Dorrell's channel. There will be a link in the description. You should go and check out the stream matches before you watch analysis because it's always much more hype. So Joseph Richardson is now a two-time regional champion, which is insane because this is his first year in the Masters division. He's only just graduated from seniors to Masters. And he's already a double regional champion, which is amazing. So he is actually going to be rocking the big six. So I am expecting Smiggle Xerneas lead. So I am going to lead with my anti smiggles earnest lead, which is Gengar and Scizor. Because my Scizor is carrying the Lumberry, if he Dark Voids, I will wake up and I'll be able to Swords Dance, get to plus two, and threaten this Xerneas with a Bullet Punch. So he's going to follow me as I taunt his Xerneas to stop the Geomancy. So the taunt does in fact go into the Smeargle instead. But that's fine because now he's going to be able to get up the Geomancy, but he can't follow me any, any anymore. And I am going to be going for the sword stance to get up to plus two, which is an Oko on standard Xerneas. And because he can't follow me anymore, Sizzle will be able to just target this Xerneas. So he is going to get his Geomancy up, you know, he's wasting all the time with the animations, getting this plus two, plus two, plus two, because I'm still stalling, because while it still does it. And there we go, I'm going to sword stance. So now I do threaten the Oko onto this Xerneas, and I know exactly what's going to happen this next turn. The Moody is going to activate and not really do anything because the Smeagol can't can't use any of its status moves. But he is going to withdraw the Smeagol. I do call that perfectly. And he is going to protect his Xerneas as well, which I call perfectly. But I do not capitalize it. I could have won this turn. He is going to intimidate my Scizor. That means that I don't knock out this Xerneas with a Bullet Punch anymore since the maximum I can do, or any Scizor can do at 252, is 99% which is annoying, but what I should have done is Swords Danced with the Scizor, because then I'd have been at plus three. I knew the Smeagol would switch out and I knew the Xerneas would protect, and then I would just be able to KO everything with Scizor. Regardless of what he switched in, the only thing that would have been bad for, for me would have been switching into Talonflame, because then he could threaten the Quick Guard, but I didn't think he would do that. He's going to switch in his Salamence and he is going to protect his Xerneas, and I do call it correctly and I make completely the wrong move. I'm going to Icy Wind, which is awesome, catching the Salamence. So if I'd have Icy Winded in Swords Dance, I won the game straight away. But for some reason, I double into what was the Smeagol with the Icy Wind and the Bug Bite, and I KO the Salamence, which is really bad. Because now he gets the free switch into his Talonflame, and he can quick guard away my bullet punches. So that's terrible. Now here, I misplay again. I should have just gone straight for the, um, the Sludge Bomb and the Bullet Punch with my Scizor because he could only knock out one of them this turn and I should have just traded one for either the Talonflame with the Sludge Bomb or the Bullet Punch on the Xerneas because he can't Quick Guard and Brave Bird and I make completely the wrong move and I protect my Scizor so he can just double up into my Gengar and get a free knockout. So that's really bad for me because now he still has his Quick Guard so I can't Bullet Punch his Xerneas and I'm only at um, plus one anyway so I won't probably won't KO anyway. So I'm going to bring in my Kyogre. It is going to Primal Reverse because I have to keep stalling. Because, you know, that's all that VGC 16 is. Just stalling while the animation goes off. There we go. Okay, so I am going to get the Primal Mordial C, which doesn't really affect anything. Because he's unlikely to have... Well, no, I've already seen this Pokemon. He doesn't have his Groudon in the back anymore. So he is just going to Quick Guard from my Bullet Punch. There was no reason going for Bug Bites, really. Because, you know, in case he didn't Quick Guard and overpredicted. But he is going to Dazzling Gleam doing a decent amount of uh, damage to my Scizor, and it turns out it's a two-hit KO on my Kyogre. And even at half health, Kyogre is able to take out the Talonflame. So now I can Bullet Punch again, but he's got his Smeagol in the back that can just follow me away. So that's really bad for me. Now here, I again make, I think, a misplay, because he's going to follow me, and I would have survived the Dazzling Gleam, and I was just expecting in my head for some reason that he would go for the Dazzling Gleam. But that doesn't happen. I'm going to Bullet Punch onto this Smeagol, bring it down to its Sash, and he's going to Moonblast my Sizzle, which is enough to KO. If it hadn't gleamed, I would have survived, and I would have probably won the match. But Moonblast was obviously the better play. I should have thought of that. I should have protected. And again, I make another bad play. For some reason, I ex since I expected the Dazzling Gleam, like if I expected the Dazzling Gleam, I'd have been KO'd. But I was hoping for Dazzling Gleam to just let my Kyogre live, but then the Water Spout would do nothing. So that was... Another misplay on my part because the Water Spout chip might have put the Xerneas into Extreme Speed KO range, but I didn't do that for some reason. 
And I'm going to Mega Evolve my Rayquaza, and even an Extreme Speed crit here probably wouldn't save me. So the game is pretty much over, since I'm going to go for Extreme Speed, and it does a decent amount of damage. And it does imply that he's no bulk Xerneas, so he would prob probably be Max Max 252. But Dazzling Gleam is enough to KO both my Kyogre and my Xerneas. So now I am 3-1 in the tournament. So there's, there's no shame in losing to Joseph Richardson. He's done two perfect regional runs, or uh, perfect Swiss runs. Yeah, but he did a perfect London regional run and a perfect Swiss in this tournament. So no shame in losing to him. But I'm now 3-1, and I know that from my previous opponent, or just the first round really, that my resistance is very unlikely to be good enough if I go X2 to top cut. So now I'm going to have to win all my matches. So let's see how that goes. Thanks for watching.